Welcome everyone, my name is Comet and today I am going to show you my mid lane champion pool for my Road to Diamond series. This is very important because on the current patch, the 13.23, there's been a lot of changes that really will make an impact to the mid lane because they have changed the way that taking turrets works. Now when you take a turret you are going to get extra gold if you are by yourself which means that split pushing could be very powerful and a way to counter split pushing is with wave clear. So this could put the mid lane into a huge spotlight because you could now bring uh, characters that are uh, infinite wave clearers you know that will completely gatekeep you because they can just go into the lane um, hit one button and completely clear the wave that way you you will stop and not be able to take the turret or inversely you could pick a split uh, you could you could pick a split pusher yourself and then be unstoppable if you are against the right composition or in the right composition um so for that reason there's a lot of changes to my champion pool from the previous series which was my role to gold that i want to make um, but let's begin right off the bat, you know, with the strongest character that is, um, or the strongest mid lane character at the moment, uh, that is, let me see, where is she? Um, Oriana. Oriana is a character that has been rising quite hardcore in, in Korean solo queue, especially. Um, this is a character that has a very high win rate against almost anything. And from the words of Abdo himself, you know, Abdo, um, one of the best players of all time, um, the best solo queue player that Korea had, um, because he managed to get rank one uh, when Faker was at its peak on solo queue um, in Korea. Then he got rank one in the super server of China and he maintained both. So that's quite insane. Um, Abdo said it himself when Oriana is strong. You cannot counter it with anything. So now that they add um, way clear potentially being so important, and with Oriana already being strong, this could make her completely uh, unstoppable, you know, for the wave clear or anti split pushing strategy, um, because she is, you know, the pinnacle of a team fighter um, when she is strong. She can wave clear fast, she can team fight and everything. Uh, but because I am still only, only going to be playing in the lower levels, there are, there is a very strong way to counter her. Um, and I will try it out, which is with my old main, um, Lux. Lux is a character that has a lot more range than, than Oriana. It's a lot easier to use and is very straightforward. But also, and very specially, she has... Um, the power to match that split pushing and the range to keep Oriana at bay. So this could be a good answer for the lower levels. Remember, I am be I am gonna be playing between Unranked and and Diamond. I'm not gonna be playing in Master Tier and Challenger or anything. I'm gonna be playing against people in the lower levels who might not who might still get caught by a binding, random binding from Fog of War uh, from Lux. Uh, and because of this, I want to see if she works well, because in these levels, looks is a counter to Oriana, as people still have not developed their uh, sidestepping or the dodging mechanics just yet. Uh, but I think the meta is going to revolve ab around Oriana, and a character that could do well, if you ban Oriana or even against her, as NAD, is Yone. You know, this is a character I did pick on my old uh, series as well. Um, it's a character that I have... I think I was on the fiddle with Yone. I never won on my previous series. Sorry, I never lost with him on my previous series. Obviously, I have lost off camera um, now that I'm on my road to Diamond. Um, but that is okay. Um, Jone is a character that could work, you know, as, a, as an answer to the new meta because he counters a lot of uh, mid laners and top laners that may want to mm, go for a split pushing strategy. Um, and he can split push himself. He scales extremely well into the mm, in, into the late game, uh, and he also can split push and team fight. So he is the full package. These two characters, Lux and Yone, are gonna be very important for me. Um, those are part of my champion pool, but if I see that Oriana is unstoppable, I'm going to add Oriana to my champion pool, period. Because um, this is a character that is just too strong when she is strong. So we need to really wait and see how Oriana um, performs, because if she does well, I might not have an option but to play her or to ban her. Um, but 
with these three characters that opens a lot of other um strategies as well and that is you know if you are someone who wants a direct answer to uh, to oriana in terms of power and team fighting you can go for victor in my case it's been so long there since i played victor that i would rather stick to what i know at the moment uh, but what happens if looks ends up not working you know um what could i pick you know and another character that is very powerful is silas at the moment um in terms of play styles it's quite similar to um to um, to Yone, but he does struggle against wave clear, so he might struggle against an Oriana composition. Um, let's see what other. Oh, Nafiri could be good, but Nafiri, now in fact, Nafiri was really good, and for the new st style, she would be amazing. The problem is that she got a nerf, um, so that is something that really impacts everything uh, a bit more than normal because she is the character that you would love to pick for this play style you know for this split pushing or counter split pushing strategies but because she got a nerf we cannot play her anymore um i used to play lisandra a lot but lisandra um, lacks range um so we need an answer though still for all of the assassins come sometimes people um still do not care if you pick um if the style is split pushing they just pick an assassin and hey let's go and try to kill it uh to counter this type of people especially that's uh, the thing that you can tend to find a lot between platinum and emerald you know gold platinum and emerald you tend to find a lot of these people um i have the counter for that that i want to try and that is ari because ari will destroy you if you are a reckless person just going in um Ari is a character that works well against this type of playstyles. Same for Akali. And uh, that would really add a good... That would be a really good addition. For, those two will be a really good addition to my character pool. Um, Ari, Akali... Um, I would like to add Silas, but Silas struggles more than Akali. Um, and Akali kind of does well in the late game against Toriana, but not in lane. So that's an interesting matchup. Uh, but because I am not... Um, because I am not um, that into, or, or because I haven't really been playing that much this season and in previous season, I was just not playing at all. I will put Akali on the side at the moment and just go with Ari, which will make my champion pool look as follow. Um, Ari, then um, Lux and Ione. And, and I would like Lissandra to to try Lissandra against those assassins. Uh, but I think in the current meta, Oriana could be strong. So I will, I will have the following champion pool as my uh, end champion pool to start with. It's going to be Oriana, or, or sorry, um, Lux, Ari, and Yone. And if I see that Oriana is just far above the rest, I'm going to pick her. Now, this is not a permanent champion pool. If I see that there's better characters, I am definitely gonna go into that. But I will try to give it a lot of matches first to see how everything stabilizes, you know, how the meta changes and drifts towards. Um, so I will make an update in the next week so that we can go and do a rundown on everything, you know. Um, I think that's gonna be really, really important. Um, give me a, around a week to just play around. I will try to play ab about... 100 matches in general uh, across my accounts um, so that I can truly see what the meta looks like. And next week, I'm going to come back with an answer or, or probably even this week, you know, I'm going to come back with an answer to the meta or with a, a better champion pool for all of my lanes. So be on the watch for that. Uh, I might try to upload. I don't know if I should upload the matches that I'm going to be playing. Probably some of them I will upload them. Um, so... If you're interested in an update of that, um, just remember to subscribe because I'm going to be uploading that. Um, but that's it for now. This was my mid lane champion pool, Ari, Yone, and uh, Lux. And if I see that Orian is strong, I'm going to go for that. But if I see that none of these characters work, I'm going to try to adjust it and add more characters, remove others, etc. Always trying to improve, always trying to grow, always trying to get better. So that's it for now. 
Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was fun and useful to you. And um, let's see now how the meta shifts. Let's wait for the patch to come and then we can go all in. For now though, thank you so much for watching. My name is Comet and I am signing out. Peace.